Hi everyone, so in this video I want to go over some of the functions of your TI-30XA calculator. Specifically, we are going to focus on exponents and scientific notation. If you have other questions, please consult uh, the instructions that came with the calculator or other YouTube videos. We'll go over more of your functions. So we're going to focus on those that you need for chemistry class. All right, so first, let's take a look at your calculator. So this is what it looks like. I just want to point out some of the key buttons that we're going to be using. So down there is obviously the equals. All right, on, off, and clear is the same button. All right, and then notice this plus and minus key that's on the bottom right of your number pad. This will allow you to, to toggle between negative and positive numbers. So we'll use that when we're using negative exponents, for example. All right, order of operations. So sometimes you have to tell the calculator uh, which operations you want it to do first, just like you would on paper. So this allows you to do that. All right, and then that sec second function button. So notice all of the buttons across the top have their main function is the black writing on the white buttons, but above that, you see this yellowish green um, functions. So in order to access them, you hit the second function button first, and then that allows you to use these extra functions that are written above each button. All right, um, so as I said, for this particular one, we're gonna focus on how to use your calculator to calculate exponents and scientific notation. So the first button I want you to be aware of is this log and then notice above the log button it's written 10 to the x so that's what we're going to use when we're inputting things like 10 to the negative 3 or 10 to the fifth so we're going to use that by using the second function button and then hitting this 10 to the x key all right the second button you'll need is this ee -E key and that's how we're going to do our scientific notation so that's going to allow us to more easily input scientific notation where you don't have to type the whole thing out. All right, the other thing I want to point out that may be useful is notice the second function on the five key says science. So this will allow you to register your answers in scientific notation. So what you would do is hit second function and then the science key and that will put all of your numbers into scientific notation automatically. So this can be helpful so you don't have to count all those zeros every time you get an answer. Um, if you want to shut this function off, turn your calculator off and then back on again, and that will take the function away. All right, so first of all, let's start out working with just some plain exponents. So one of the things about this calculator that's different from some of the um, more advanced calculators is you have to enter the exponent first. So if we're putting in 10 to the second, what you're going to do is actually enter the 2, then hit the second function button, then 10 to the x. Okay, so for example, here we have 5, and because of our dimensional analysis, we're going to divide by 10 to the minus 3. So in order to do that, you're going to plug in 5 and then divide it by. Now we have to get negative 3 as our exponent. So we're going to type in 3. We're going to use our plus and minus toggle to make it negative 3. Then we're going to hit second function, then 10x, and you should get 5,000 if you go through this. So let me just show you that real quickly. All right, so here is my calculator. Sorry, it's a bit blurry. So I'm going to turn it on. And I want to do 5 divided by, now I need to do 10 to the minus 3. So minus 3 is our exponent. So I'm going to hit 3 first. Then I'm going to hit this positive negative button. And notice that makes our number negative 3. Then I'm going to hit second function. And then that log key, which remember is our 10 to the x key. And then we hit enter, and we get 5,000 for our answer. Okay? All right, so once you get the hang of that, 
it's actually easier. You just have to remember this is functioning more like an actual calculator than a computer, which some of the more advanced models do. So you're inputting the exponents first. All right, let's try that with a little bit more complicated equation here. So now we're going to take 5 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 10 to the minus 6. So you might want to pause the video and see if you can do that on your own. All right, but I'm going to show you right now on my calculator how to do it. Okay, so once again, actually move that further away. All right. So once again, I'm going to clear my number, all right, and I'm going to take 5, and now we want to multiply by 10 to the minus 3. So again, we're going to hit 3, and then change it into a negative, and then second function, and then my 10 to the x button. All right, now we want to divide by 10 to the minus 6. So now, again, we're putting the exponent in first, so 6 make it negative, second function, 10 to the x, and then hit equals. And you should get 5,000 again for that sequence. Okay, so hopefully that helps you a little bit in dealing with exponents, right? But many times in science, and in chemistry in particular, we're going to be using scientific notation. So when you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing by scientific notation, you don't want to always have to be typing in these exponents. So the way to get around that is to use this EE key, which makes it a little bit um, quicker and easier. So in this particular case, you type in um, your number, so you type in the coefficient. In this case, it would be 2.3. Then you hit the EE button, and then you add your exponent, okay? So let me show you what that looks like real quick. All right, so here's my calculator again. So in this case, I'm going to type in 2.3, okay, and then EE. And notice that puts like those two little zeros up as superscript. So what that means when I type in, I think that was a 2. When I type in a 2, that is standing for 2.3 times 10 to the second. Okay, and when you put your calculator in scientific notation, it will give you the answers in that format. So whatever is here in the superscript is your times 10 to that exponent. So if we hit enter, we get 230. Okay. All right, so let's try a little bit um, of a more complicated problem. So in this case, we're going to have 2.3 times 10 to the second and we're going to divide it by 1.5 times 10 to the third, okay? So again, we start out the same way we did before, 2.3 exponent times 10 to the second, right? And in this calculator, it already knows that that number is by itself, so we don't have to put in the parentheses. And then we're going to divide it by, I think it was 1.5, exponent times 10 to the third, and now we can hit equals, and you should get 0.153, etc. Okay? All right. All right. So, here is a little problem just so you practice using your parentheses. In this particular calculator, you don't have to use the parentheses as often as you do in some of the other ones. But you definitely need it. So in this case, we're taking 2.3 times 10 to the second plus 5.1 times 10 to the second. And then we're dividing it by 7.4 times 10 to the second. So it needs to know to do this um, addition first. So we need to use these parentheses that I have written in yellow. Okay? So what you would do for this is you're going to hit open parentheses, and you can't see it on the screen, but right above the zero, there's a little parentheses symbol that shows up, and then you're going to hit 2.3 exponent 10 to the second plus 5.1 exponent 10 to the second, 
All right, and now you're going to hit close parentheses and then divided by 7.4 exponent times 10 to the second. And now we hit equals. And if you do it correctly, you should get a 1. Okay, so hopefully that gave you a little practice and a little bit better understanding of how this particular calculator works. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me or there's tons of other YouTube videos out there um, that show you how to use your calculator. Okay, have a good day.